Hey everyone, Emily here. Whoa, it's been so long since I made a video. Look, I'm blushing, it's funny. Um, <laughs> I used to keep everybody posted on my life, and I guess they thought that I was doing like more exciting things before, you know? Um, this journey, of course, my trip to Hawaii, I've been here almost two years. It'll be two years in May. But I've been very open about everything because I've been alone here in Hawaii and I really don't have many people to talk to. I meet people, of course. You can surround yourself with so many people, but to get your good group, your core tribe, those people that you can trust your life with, that you need, you can go hug, you know, love, um, you know, those take time and those take work. So not that I don't have them and I'm not working towards them because I absolutely am. I would love to have them. But um, for the most part, I'm by myself and this whole thing in Hawaii has been me and myself and and like learning who I am and learning like this soul inside of me because we are souls you know in these avatar forms of human bodies but that is what I've been doing is connecting to my true self my higher self and it's just been an amazing journey and I try to share you know some things on Facebook but um, where I'm at in my mindset is very spiritual. It's very uh, connected to the nature, to the aina, to the earth, um, to the source, to uh, what one usually would call God or I call the universe. It's all the same thing. It doesn't matter what you call it. We're talking about the same thing. But I had absolutely no beliefs in spirituality until the islands called me here. I had no idea and then it was synchronicity after synchronicity and magic happened and it's just like I know that I'm loved and cared for and provided for so it's very easy for me to to not um, worry or try to think about materialistic things or you know it's easy but it's difficult because there's always that part of me that's human or you know I'm only two years into this stuff and and time is not relative either because it really doesn't exist but um you know I'm relatively new so sometimes most recently I've gone back I've backtracked a little bit and I've gotten uh surrounded myself in a little bit of drama and a little bit of gossip and things like that that um you know I thought that that I wouldn't be part of or didn't want to be part of and then um you know, things have fallen down around me where, you know, things aren't working out favorably. And I've spent a little bit of time, like, thinking of the negatives and thinking. And then um, I just came to this realization last night that I'm creating all of this. All of this around me is a reflection of me and what's inward is projecting outward and it's time to fix it. I'm responsible for everything in my life. I take responsibility for everything around me, including people, including how they treat me, you know, all of that is all a lesson. This is a school of life. It's a lesson for me and I'm learning from it. I'm learning, you know, why is this coming up? Why? What? You know, and it's because I've forgotten that I can be that way. I've forgotten that, you know, I could be part of these things that are so in the ego that need to be let go. So it's coming up again for me to learn, you know, Emily, let go, let go. And, um, I don't, it's really, it's really hard, you know, cause I'm going through this, um, not alone cause I do have a few good friends, but, but this, you know, the, the spiritual aspect and stuff like that, I don't have a good tribe yet. And that in itself, me saying that is negative. That's me saying, Focusing on what I don't have instead of what I do have. So I do have some good people and I'm getting there and, um, you know, and it definitely is a solo journey and it should be, you know, and I don't know. I don't, it's just really, really amazing. I don't know. Just the other day I was thinking, I'm going to leave Maui. I'm done. You know, some things are falling apart. I'm done. I'm pow. I'm ready to take off. I'm gonna go to Oahu because that's my home base. That's where I started was in Oahu. My dad was there with me for a few months. You know, I was thinking, I have really great friends there. I'm like, ah, oh, it's like home for me. I'd love to go back to Wisconsin, but it's, I, 
I am in fear of going there because I'm like, well, what if I don't have a, a set base in Hawaii to come back to, you know? So I want to make sure that I'm set to come back to Hawaii before I come back to Wisconsin because I'm, that's no longer my home. My family's there, great friends, my soul's born there, but, you know, I feel that I've moved on and Hawaii's my home, but I, and I'm really enjoying it here and it's very comforting and accepting of me, but... So the other day, like two days ago, I was like, I'm done, I'm leaving Hawaii, I'm, well not Hawaii, but leaving Maui, I want to go to Oahu, and then I'm going to just backpack, I'm going to go to Kauai, Kauai is um, the oldest island, the oldest energy, and I'm very called to it, and I would love to live there someday, but I'm just like, I was just like, I'm going to go now, I just want to go, and you know, I'm looking for a new apartment, I don't have a car, like, all these things that aren't working out for you right now, um, I should be looking at as opportunities. Like, when something falls away, it just means something new's coming. Something, you know, when you lose something, it's actually a gain, because something's going to fall into that place, and that's the point. And, the, and it's, and it's really hard, and I'm there with everybody, and I know that it's hard to realize that, but I made up my mind, and I was like, quitting everything I'm just gonna move to I'm gonna go backpacking on the islands I'm just gonna I don't know see what happens because I do trust in the flow and trust in the universe and I do know that if I did make that decision it may be a little rough but the universe would provide for me and I would be okay no matter what I do God loves me and I will be okay you know but anyway so I go to book the flight and the website says can't process and I kept I tried different things and I kept and the website wouldn't process, and that's, that's me. It's like, Emily, slow down. Stop it. You don't need to leave. And, um, and then yesterday, so I didn't book the flight to leave, and then yesterday I ran into people, and I'm like, as much as I don't need to focus on the negativity or the things that are going wrong in my life, I opened up to a complete stranger, and I was just like, poured it out, had a crying fest, just let him know every or her know everything. And she was like, oh, well, I know somebody that, you know, has cars or rents cars. Um, you know, I can get his contact information. I don't see him very often. And boom, he walks in the door. And he, you know, and that's how, you know, Hawaii is very, very strong energy. It's very special. And not that you can't do this in everywhere in the world. You can manifest anywhere. But so this guy walks in and he's like, oh, well, I also have a room for rent. So... You know, and it's just like doors open up or as soon as I made that decision that I was done, Maui says, stop Emily, you're not done. We have. We want to provide for you, have more for you. You'll be okay. There's other things for you here. And and that's what I forget about. And then today I just woke up and I'm, I have to go to work in a little bit, but I was walking around town smiling at people because I work at a restaurant and I've met so many people. I live in a really small community where so many people know me, so I can't go anywhere without seeing people I know. But I was walking around saying, hello, Emily, you live in Maui. Maui. You know that place you always dreamed of living in, but you never thought you would? And I'm still pinching myself and I'm like, why the F am I in a hurry to go anywhere? Why am I even thinking about tomorrow? Why am I worried? Why do you need to be? You know, and it's really when you get down to that root of that now moment, you know, Eckhart Tolle, like, not just him, but, uh, you know, universal wisdom of the now moment, that the only thing that matters is this very second. Like, what am I doing? What is this feeling? How is this? Where am I? Like, this very second, this now moment, Yesterday doesn't matter. It happened. So this might have happened. That might have happened. You might have done this. You might, you know, but then you got to learn to release those feelings of guilt. You know, like, not just saying you did something bad, but you have to learn to release everything that holds you in the past. Anything, even like five minutes ago, who gives a shit? It's not happening now. It's over with. Move on. Guess what? New moment. New things. You can do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. The only thing holding you there is yourself, right? And so if you're thinking that you're projecting, you're sending vibrations into the universe or whatever, and it's going to come right back to you. So, you know, if you have bad feelings um, about anything, and same with the future, you know, I just lose myself and, you know, what's going to happen, what's going to happen, do this, do this, do this, 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 you know, and then Maui puts a gentle hand on my chest and sits me down on my butt and says, Emily, 
dear child, you're going to be okay. You know, just breathe. Just live in the moment. And I preach this stuff all the time. And I, you know, I'm really excited about life and these new ideas that I have. And just these, this knowledge and wisdom that I carry. Oh, sorry, it's really hot in my room. But I'm really excited about it. And I like to share it on Facebook. But I'm not sure if it's the right crowd. Like, not that I don't love everybody, but... But not that, you know, people aren't ready to hear this stuff. They're not ready to hear it. Um, but I gotta share it, you know. So I was like, oh, well, maybe I'll just make a video today and talk about what's going on with me. Behind me right here. That's my vision board that has everything that I want to do. Everything that I look forward to doing and that's how I believe. I believe in the law of attraction, the power of positivity, manifestations, you know, your entire reality. It's based on your mind. You know, everything in your life is pretty much what you created or what your soul created the moment it decided to incarnate on this planet. And that's what I really believe. And I believe I believe in my own path. And that's why I really feel things like jealousy when you're jealous of other people, people are jealous of you, like being jealous of people, being angry at people, or you know, or somebody did this. Like I really don't believe we are victims of anything. Well, you know, there's obviously some accounts of victimism, crimes, abuse, murder, you know, these types of things. And, um, you know, and I'm not talking about disease or death or any of that stuff. I don't have everything figured out. I'm not saying those things you had coming or you created those by any means. But I am saying other situations in your life you're very capable of creating. You're very capable of forming, shaping, um, but bottom line is really that you can have whatever you want you can do whatever you want you can be whoever you want to be and there's going to be people other people that see your light and it's going to black like block out their darkness and they're not going to want you to be happy because they haven't found that in themselves but you know the true you know our life process is to really find ourselves and our soul and what makes us happy and what you know what what is it that's going to make Emily happy? What does Emily need? What is that? That's what's important. It's not about, like, what somebody thinks of me. I said this. That's not that. Or, you know, who cares about what you wear, what you look, what you dress, gossip, what, you know, like, these things that do not matter. They don't even, you know, they don't even need to exist, but they do. I feel like I'm just rambling in circles, but whatever. I'm talking. I'm making a video. I feel good about it. You know, the two people, I have two girls that really look forward to my posts, so Lexi and Josette, hopefully you guys watch this, but I know for sure you two follow me and Karen. If I can inspire one person to think, change their mindset and to say, I'm important, my life is important, I'm living for me, for myself. I'm going to do what makes me happy. That's all that matters. If I can talk, if my words will help you to live your life the way that you want to live it, then I'm going to speak, you know? Sometimes I get insecure and I'm like, oh man, Emily's talking crazy again, she's a hippie, but no, you know, I think I'm really onto something and my goal in life is to be a public speaker. I want to travel and I want to speak to people, I want to empower people, but I'm not done empowering myself yet. I have a little bit of work and that's why I'm on Maui and some, you know, some of the greatest speakers, spiritual healers, these people, they... The Hawaiian Islands, islands call to them, and the islands, each island has its own energy, and that you know, and they're, you know, it's like Oahu was, Oahu was the first island I landed to, and it's called the Gathering Island, and it's, and it is, it's where I began, it's where the whole journey started. Before I knew anything about spirituality, about anything, I started there, I landed there. And I was there with my dad, and everything worked out for me. That's when the magic started happening. And there's so many synchronicities, and I'd like to tell my entire story someday. And I will, because I think it's amazing. And if you weren't a believer, then you would be after you read my book. And I'll write someday. And after that, I went on to the Big Island, which is where Pele is, the volcano goddess, the goddess of fire. And uh, that's where... I was really ripped open and raw and made into this person that I am today. Well, I was always this person, of course, but revealed myself, you know, and I had my burns and stuff that, you know, and the Pele, and she, she made me suffer a little bit before I could really appreciate 
anything about myself and I'd learned to love myself. So before that, and then I came to Maui and Maui is just this bam, beautiful, golden, loving, healing place. And it's really healing and accepting. And I've been really accepted and I think that anybody would be. And it's like, it's, it's absolutely the universe like works out and for us, but it's also this small community of so many people. Everyone is willing to help. You know, it's so small. And, and you know, it's so awesome where I live. I've always wanted this and just to know people and be known and be known for the good, Emily. You know, my childhood was whatever. Here I'm in the past right now. But, but I wasn't always projecting myself as who I wanted to be. But so the bottom line is, is now I'm able to project myself. I want to be seen in a certain way, and I am seen in that way, you know, and it's it's really, really good for me, and I'm really happy, um, you know, there's sometimes, I'm always thinking in the past, or I want to go home, I want to be by my dog, I want to be my mom and dad, I want to be with my sisters, my nieces, my nephew, you know, I'm a nanny, and I think I'm partially a nanny because I get to be around kids, and I get to hold them and love them, and like, what? And imagine that I'm love I'm giving that love to my nieces and nephews. I'm sorry. But you know, and I go through this every day of um every day missing home, missing my life and who I used to be. I'm gonna post this anyways, I don't care, you see me cry, but, you know, it's really hard when my whole life has changed. And the Emily I used to be is not so much anymore, but, you know, I'm still the same. But, you know, I don't know. But my life's going up, my life's changing, and I'm just full of love and happiness, and and as much as I'm just living in Hawaii and living the dream, I'm not one of these people that's going going to just be absorbed and um like I have a mission. I have a mission to con continue on here. I don't want to just like fall into the life of I'm gonna barely work. I'm just gonna cruise. I'm doing that, which is fine. But I do have a mission, and I'm a light worker. And my mission is to empower other people to live their dreams. And I'm I'm dedicated my I'm dedicating my life to a life of service, to helping other people. And that's what I really want to do, is to empower people to be happy, and the happiest they can be. With with you know, and cutting through this illusion of reality that's been cutting through this reality that's formed by humans because it's old and it's time for the new but anyways aloha and love sending much love and energy um, to everybody I just want everybody to know if any, whoever watches this that I really appreciate you taking the time and I love you aloha bye bye <laughs>